in here we have a, uh, a theater which presents a uh, remarkable film about uh, seven individuals whose lives are very much involved with uh, taking risks, whether it be in climbing mountains or uh, fighting fires or uh, being an astronaut. Uh, they tell in their own words uh, what risk means to them and uh, their jobs and how they view risk uh, in their jobs. One of the uh, individuals in the film is a race car driver and uh, when asked about uh, about the risks that he would or would not take, uh, he's very comfortable driving his car at 200 miles, uh, miles an hour, but uh, he says he would never uh, jump out of an airplane. Anybody that comes along that wants to drive a race car has got to be a little touched in the head anyway, but uh... Uh, it's like jumping out of an airplane with a parachute. Whew, now there's crazy. You can see how, uh, how personal risk is and how we have individual differences, strong differences in how we react to, uh, to risk. Very uh, remarkable uh, film uh, that we have here. This is another exhibit that uh, is uh, derived from an experiment, actual experiments uh, on risk perception that were uh, sponsored by the National Science Foundation over a number of years in order to, to understand how people uh, uh, perceive and evaluate risks. And what it gets at is, is the individual differences that uh, exist between uh, people and how they view risks that are important in society. There's a, a variety of risks ranging from nuclear power plants to uh, smoking cigarettes to uh, flying in, in uh, commercial airplanes that are uh, listed in this exhibit. And for each one, you have to rate how serious a risk you think it is to American society. When you do that, you find that there are uh, uh, big differences between people. Uh, men and women, for example, tend to rate the risks uh, differently. And, uh, and different risks are, are seen in, uh, very differently. So, so uh, uh, nuclear power may be seen as a high risk, but uh, driving in a car, which is really uh, risky uh, at times, uh, is, tends to be seen as a lower risk. Anyway, this, uh, this gets at that, and uh, this exhibit will allow people to uh, test their own perceptions of risk. I think they'll find it quite interesting. Okay, let's start. So this is a scale that I use from little or no risk to high risk, and we we'll just uh, get started. So commercial uh, air travel, and uh, I think, uh, fortunately, uh, air travel uh, is is uh, is rather safe. So I mark that low. Genetically engineered bacteria, well, it's it's. Uh, Hard to know. That's a new risk. It's not really uh, clear uh, what the risk is. I think there's a slight risk there, so I'll mark it as a slight risk. Storms and floods. Uh, now, those are things that people usually don't uh, worry about until one is imminent, but I think uh, uh, across the United States and other places, uh, in a year, you have a lot of very ser serious uh, uh, natural disasters. So I think there's a pretty uh, moderate to high risk from storms uh, and floods. Street drugs, well, definitely uh, a high risk uh, activity. And cigarette smoking, very high risk activity. So now uh, to identify myself, uh, I'm a white male, and in general, white males tend to have lower risk perceptions than other people, but uh, I can find out uh, how I compare uh, by comparing myself to, uh, to uh, a national survey that was done. Now we see uh, four lines uh, there, uh, uh, and my own in, in red, and you can see that uh, that uh, I'm, uh, I seem to be a, l a little bit lower on, on, uh, on some of these risks and around uh, the same as the others on, uh, on, on others. This line right here is uh, the white male line. White males tend to have lower risk perception than, uh, than people of color, male and female, and also white females. 
but uh, these are averages over large numbers of people. And of course, uh, my data is not an average, and it's, uh, it's bouncing uh, all over the place. So uh, I think this is a very uh, nice uh, test of, uh, of people's risk perceptions. I'm glad to see it here. Well, one of the main messages uh, in this exhibit is that, uh, that the outcomes of risk decisions are hard to predict. Uh, just like life is. But uh, if you know enough about the situation uh, and you know how to control the risk, you can actually make it uh, uh, more predictable. And this exhibit helps to show us how to do that. Um, it gives us a uh, choice of making decisions either about uh, 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 safety in a, in a car or about our uh, investment decisions. And let me see if I can get it uh, started here. So uh, the main point here is that, that uh, many times there are factors that are under our control that influence uh, what the level of risk is that, that we face. And we have uh, uh, two situations in which to demonstrate this. One has to do with, with, uh, with the safety of, of uh, driving and car crashes. And the other has to do with investment uh, for retirement and whether or not you will uh, be able to retire uh, with a million dollars uh, investments. So uh, you make a choice as to which uh, type of decision you want to face. And then you're given, you're given questions about how you want to go about protecting yourself or ensuring that your money will, will grow uh, as an investment. And that will, uh, will show you how the probabilities change as you uh, vary these factors under your control. And uh, ultimately, it will give you a probability that you'll be successful in, a, in survi <coughs> surviving a crash or retiring a millionaire. And you'll get a probability, and then you'll play out that probability on this wheel. Lights will light up depending on uh, how many, what your probability is. If your probability is 60%, 60 lights will light up. The wheel will spin, and you'll see whether or not you're successful or not. In, the, in this exhibit, uh, we, uh, we see that uh, even though some of our uh, activities are, are inherently risky, uh, there are things that we can do to reduce that risk. So, uh, for example, uh, the, uh, the uh, firefighter uh, has, uh, has an array of clothing that is uh, to be protective uh, against the kinds of uh, risks that they take from uh, fire and flames. And this is true in, in uh, most uh, risky occupations. There are things that we can do or wear to uh, protect ourselves and reduce that risk. Okay, what does it all mean, uh, this talk about risk, this aspect of risk that we're, we're seeing here? Well, risk has many meanings. Uh, it's a probability, it's consequence, it's, uh, it's hazard, it's all of these things. Uh, this exhibit does a good job of introducing people, young and old, to the concept of risk, showing them why it is important in their lives, helping them to, uh, to think about it in a, in a logical way as well as in an emotional way. And uh, in that sense, I think it, it uh, really helps uh, educate the public uh, about this important concept of risk. Uh, the, uh, we, we make decisions about risk every day, and the nature and quality of those decisions will affect the quality of our lives. So uh, it's good to know about risk so we can protect ourselves.